Hello and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Moonblood. This is E2M3, Delta Labs Industrial Research. And you can see we've got 85 monsters and three secrets. So let's grab the weapon and get back into cover. And then everything's going to start coming out. Lots of chain gun, lots of hit scan, shotgunners, all sorts of stuff. Out the different doors, out the different windows. They're just everywhere. Let's grab the chain gun to help. Just watch everywhere here. If you hear that door open, you need to turn quickly. Let's get that one out. Good, let's go in here next. Get that chain gunner. We've got two shotgunners. Let's take them out. Okay, not too bad. Taking a lot of um, hits there, but I'm okay with it. All right, so flip the switch here. And that lowers the partial invisibility. Not too pushed with the partial invisibility, so just gonna leave that there. I said, uh, enemies will just pop up everywhere here. Just be careful. I like to use this area here just to snipe into the next area so I can take stuff out before we get there. Okay. And just move here. Oh. Wasn't very careful about how I did that. At least not careful enough. We've got a, ch a distant chain gunner down there, so I don't want to poke out. So let's deal with this one. You see they're guarding the yellow key. So that's our next target is to get that yellow key. Okay, so it's protected by a mancubus. So, gonna grab some bits and pieces here. Once we walk into the alcove of that switch, um, that wall descends and a mancubus comes out. So we can probably get a sneaky shot in. And then get out. Remember, we still have a chain gunner at the end, so I'm not gonna hang out in the hall there too long. And this, this can be a good place to deal with them. Okay. That's pretty clear. Let's grab any bits or pieces we need. When we flip the um, switch here, we get a stairs over to the yellow key. So let's do that. Pick everything up. I do like to pick every. Oops, I do like to pick everything up. So all the little um, rockets and everything that are there. So we're still getting sniped down by the end there by that chain gunner up top. So let's deal with that in a second. That little closet in there has got three shotgunners. Let's take them out first. Use the pillars for a bit of protection. So once they're all alerted. Just use the pillars to give yourself protection. That's pretty good. Let's go in here. I think we might have won. No, we've killed them all. Okay, so we've got lots of um, chain gun ammo in this room. So let's keep that. Flip this switch. It raises a, a stairs up here. Okay, and now we're going to deal with the um, chain gunners. Our chain gunner. There we go. Um, we've got a revenant here and we've got a, a shotgunner. So let's get them moving. Gonna use stun lock here. Leaned in a bit too close to that projectile, but that's alright. Okay. So got a bit of space here. Got a bit of ammo. Gonna go into this room next. So we picked up the yellow key. We can get the rocket launcher in here. So let's start this room. And at the back. Got two shotgunners. Another shotgunner here. And a shotgunner either side. On this side. Now we're good. And then to get the rocket launcher down, flip the switch and it lowers. Okay, grabbing everything as always. There we go. Run in here. I don't know if you just heard the secret door open there. I'll trigger that again so we can get the computer area map. Got a couple of shells in there. Okay, so if we... There you go. It's open. Just walk over that line def and then this opens up. You can walk in here and you can pick up the computer area map. Simple as that. Okay, may as well pick stuff up while I'm here. Okay, so this area is done. Um, there's a pressure plate here that um, opens up the two doors. So that I want to get the stairs raising because they're very noisy. So I'd like to run in and just get both of them done in one go. Always worry about like some other time I'll trip the second one. I'll have to listen to it again. Don't really like the noise of the stairs. Got a chain gunner there. We've got a chain gunner down far down the other side as well. Let's snipe them out. Okay. So we're in this area now. Um, I hope I needed to pick up those shotgun shells. Otherwise it was waste. Um, we're going to spawn in a, um, a load of revenants here. So when we pick up that red key. What I like to do is use the chain gun to stun lock them. And move around. Use the stairwell there for some protection or cover. That's the plan. Okay. 
Okay, that's one down. Took a bit of damage, not too bad. I'll live with that. Okay, and then we've got two downstairs as well. So let's get them next. I like to get at least one good shot in them like that. Okay, that's all down. Again, just like like to pick up any little bits and pieces that are lying around. And then pressure plate to open this, the door and then back up again. Okay, so we've picked up everything there. Got the chain gun there, fine. Okay, so we've got a mancubus in here we need to deal with. I like to try and stun lock them with the chain gun. We can always come back through the teleporter if it gets a bit too dodgy for us. So let's see if we can take him down. Oh, I was going to jump there. There we go, made it. If if you start getting attacked, you can jump back through the teleporter. Okay, two imps here. Let's take them down. Good. Okay, so we've got uh, a pain elemental in that little room, or that little closet there in the side, and we've got a hell knight that's going to come in over there. I like to wake it up and then try and get the try and stun lock the pain ele elemental between me and the hell knight. So that's the plan. Squint, wake stuff up, and that's it. Stun lock. So it gets hit by the Hell Knight as well as me, and I get a bit of protection. And then once that goes, just keep moving around. So I'm going to use a rocket here. I tend not to be good at remembering to use rockets, but um, it's good to use them when you can. Okay, up here. Imp, we've got a shotgunner on the platform below us. Let's take him down. Okay, we've got, we've got another pain, pain elemental here. So I want to take them out. Um... Okay, just something to soften it up. And then the chain gun to finish. We've got a, a shotgunner down there. I can see them walking over and back waiting for me. I'm gonna give it a second just to clear some stuff up. There we go. Okay, got a shotgunner here as well. I say shotgunner's down in the pit, just be careful with that. I like to run past everything. Just hop in here. We've got a little bit of safe space here. Can't, there's, um, I say shotgunners in the pit, just be careful with them. Okay, let's throw the super shotgun on. I think we've got a chain gunner here. Did not manage that well. Okay. So it didn't do the best job there, but progress is progress. Gonna pick up all the plasma and all the bits and pieces here. Would love to be able to get some more health here, but I'm locked in now, so that's that's fine. We've got a pain elemental that comes in over here somewhere, so I want to take them down with two lost souls. And we've got two arach arachnotrons to deal with there. So prioritize the pain elemental and then get three arachnotrons when you can. Use the shoulder of the wall here for a bit of cover. That tends to work well for me. And then once the pain elemental's down, keep moving. Okay, so I think I managed to get through that reasonably well. Um, the Just be careful with the Imp and the Hell Knight over there. They're going to be firing over at you. Okay, I think we can get uh, health here. Let's just grab that. And we can get back out through the other lift. So let's do that. Um, again, might want to use some rockets in the Hell Knight here, just to be using them. Sorry. Ah, gone back to sleep. That's alright. Oh, I haven't seen that before. Interesting. Okay. Um, going to move into this place. Again, shotgunners in the pit are worrying me a little bit. So going to try and run past everything and then draw them over to that other side and deal with them there. If there's any left to get this one there. There we go. Okay, shotgunner's gone. Um, we dealt. Well, I think we killed the other one earlier as well. So in here, we've got an imp and a chain gunner. Let's take them out. And then we're going to get a soul sphere, which is nice. Let's pick up all the bits and pieces in here. So all these raised plinths, you can use them to get the soul sphere. So if I just hop back on one, I can shoot that target and it raises a platform here. Um, if you want to try it as well, it's nice to try. You can strafe run off the corner and pick up the um, soul sphere that way if you want to. But you will take some damage as you land in the pit. Okay, so picked up all those things. We've got the um, red key area next. So let's deal with this. This can be a bit challenging. Bit tough to get out. We've got the spectre here. Get them out first. 
Um, once we get into this area, we've got another secret, another spectre, and another secret. Just open this up, open this up, and we get some um, some nice light amplification goggles. Um, don't fall into the pit there. <laughs> you can't get out. Don't ask me how I know. And we'll move into the next section. Okay, so we've got a, a pain elemental in here. So let's try and get them moving. I'm just going to use the rest of this ammo and then go to super shoddy. Oh, a bit of plasma clearance will do that bit. Okay. So ammo is my key concern here. I'd take a bit of health damage just to keep my ammo. So let's deal with these. There we go. Some shotguns at the back. We've got more. And we've got a chain gunner around the corner. I'd like to get through this while I still have the um, light amplification goggles because they're quite useful actually in this area. I haven't played many levels where they're that useful, but they are here. A okay, spectre here. Nice dodge, spectre. Okay. So, some cells. Gonna grab those. And some health and things in there. We're gonna drop down into this area next. This can be a bit tough. Got a shotgunner here. We've got a um, chain gunner up there. Okay, it's not playing for now. Let's go grab the suit. Take down the chain gunner. We're gonna fall in here. Let's keep stuff moving here. Uh, pale elementals need to go. I just use the wall to funnel some things. I think I've got something behind me, but I'm gonna stay focused on this pale elemental right now. Okay, and then get back to a relatively safe space. Changing gun so I don't use all my ammo. Okay. I was saying about not using my uh, ammo well at times. This is a good example. Like I'm down to a shot, or sorry, down to a rocket launcher here, which isn't great. Got a straight front the whole way across here. Take minimum damage if I can. Uh, no damage. Oh, maybe I still have the radiation suit. I can't even tell. Okay, going to hop in here. Flip this switch. Now we can exit onto the other side of the area we just cleared. So this is where we um, shot the shotgunner, or sorry, the chain gunner over there, and shotgunners on this ledge. And get some health. We can flip this switch. I really don't know what it does. I think it just turns on the lights over there. So if you watch, I think that's all it does. But I haven't figured it out. Going to grab all the ammo and things I can because they're going to be really needed. Okay. I think we've got a little bit of health over here. So I might just pick that up. I think we had stim packs here. Yeah. Okay. So our ammo isn't great, but we're alive and we're still going. This room here is quite tricky to deal with. Um, we need to flip the switch up there, so we'll have to go back through the new kitchen to flip the switch to get in here. And then closets will open, monsters will come out, and it's a bit of a mess. If this door closes, you need to go back through the new kitchen, so it kind of forces you into the room. But it's not a great room to be in. Okay, so let's try and deal with that. Strafe across, up to the top, flip the switch. Gonna get over here as quick as I can. I'm just gonna hold the door for a second. So we've got a monster closet in there with a, um, a revenant in there, and we're going to get various things spawning in on us. So it's quite a tricky area to go. I'm going to try and run up to the top of the stairs, but everything's going to start spawning in. I think I might have skipped the line death. Okay. We've got two monster closets there that should be opening. So I've managed to skip that somehow, but it's going to open now when, when I don't want it. Um, let's get plasma on just in case. I think there's one here. There we go. That's one down. And there's, yeah, there's the chain gunners down there. No point dying now. Go. I think that's it. I'll be honest, um, that's a bit of a cheese. I think I'm I'm good with it, but, um, you know, that's, that's a tough fight. This is a tough area to get by. I don't know how I managed to skip the trigger for it, but I just ran across it. But I think... Getting up to this area and dealing with them from here will make it easier. The minute you're in that room, it's a nightmare. You can't fight them from outside the room because the door closes. And each time it closes, you need to run through nukage and you get damaged again. So I think that's a good way to run it. But, you know, not perfect. Okay, so we've got um, 
yeah, we're going to hop through the... This takes back to the start area. We're going to go over here and hop through the teleport where we killed the Mancubus. We've got one kill left. So when we come around the corner here, we dealt with the Hell Knight and the um, Pin Elemental. Open this up. Kill them. And that's it. Uh, we've got all kills, all secrets. Um, so enjoyed that. I'll, I'll be honest, like, it, it was a bit of a churn at times. There were a couple of fights and that I found very challenging. Um, that last one where I skipped the line def, that's the first time I've made it through. Um, that's quite a, I say, that's a very tough room to deal with. Um, some of the area, other areas can be challenging. The Arachnotrons um, are not easy with the Pain Elemental at your back. Also, just in general, Pain Elemental or Pain Elementals are a relatively new monster in this for me. And they've been challenging to deal with. They spawn out loads of Lost Souls. It actually takes quite a lot of ammo when your pistol's starting. It takes a lot of ammo off you just to deal with Lost Souls all the time. So prioritizing them and getting them out of the way is really, really important. But uh, enjoyed this one. Happy to be through it. Happy to be moving on, but, but did enjoy the run as well. So I uh, hope you guys did too, and I'll see you in the next one.